Tracking a seasonably cool start to the week as we've seen a cold front finally dip south, but still dealing with some cloud cover behind that dipping into mid-Missouri. And by this point, uh, some rain chances unfortunately rounding uh, this high pressure we have off to the southwest. And this is actually arriving a bit earlier than scheduled. Uh, if you're heading out to the state fair this evening, may need to look out for some light showers near the dinner hour. And also still grab the sunscreen even with those clouds this afternoon. Uh, could still get sunburn in as little as half an hour with our UV index up to a 7. And again, unfortunately, those rain chances have bumped up a little bit earlier into the evening. Uh, still likely good to go, like through, likely through the mid to uh, late afternoon. It's really into the evening hours where we'll start to see some more uh, lighter showers in from the north. Uh, the heaviest rain still thankfully holding off until tomorrow morning. Uh, it is unfortunately right during the morning commute though, uh, so you will need to look out for this most widespread chance. Uh, again, early morning tomorrow. We also have that low end flash flooding threat for all of mid-Missouri. Uh, we're seeing that as more of those heaviest rain chances should end up uh, further south of I-70, but uh, anywhere you're heading out on roadways tomorrow, definitely take extra time to get out. Uh, that biggest rain chance again during the morning commute where we'll see those widespread showers and storms, but even by the afternoon uh, into the evening, still tracking some of that activity getting out, just becoming a bit more isolated there, but still just uh, take caution no matter where you're heading out tomorrow. And you can see this latest future track, again, bringing in some of those lighter showers already by the mid-afternoon. This is uh, by about 3 to 4 p.m. where that's north of I-70 still, but out in Sedalia, uh, already starting to get potential lighter showers near the dinner hour tonight. So uh, if you're trying to get out to the state fair, now is certainly or into the early afternoon trying to get out. And then we'll continue to track more of those showers uh, starting to fill in after midnight. We could even see the heaviest of this uh, hold just north early in the morning, but uh, you see during the commute by about 6 to 9 a.m. looks to be the window of that heaviest rain. Uh, so if you're heading out again early in the morning on those roads, uh, really widespread heavy showers on the way. Just make sure to give yourself plenty of extra time. Uh, becoming a bit more isolated throughout the day again. We'll even see this shifting southward by the evening uh, just near the lake area by late Tuesday, possibly still holding on to some of that heavier rain. Uh, we are potentially still tracking about an inch to two inches or more uh, for parts of mid-Missouri. This model not showing it the best, but those heaviest uh, really rain bands should end up to the south right where we need it to relieve that drought uh, across the southern half of the state. So we'll continue to track maybe the relief that brings uh, for those drought conditions, but also seeing a big cool down with temperatures as we're seeing the coolest temps Minbo has seen since the start of summer back into the mid-70s.